Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Um, today I'll be unboxing a TV remote. Um, it's not my first Logitech Harmony remote, and I'm sure it won't be my last. And not that I need a remote. Um, I bought this because it's purely on sale. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I can return it. Um, got it at Costco. Um, this is the last one. They were selling it pretty on par with. Amazon pricing, you know, about a hundred dollars um, or so. But since all this is the last one, they're trying to clear stock. So they sold this to me for fifty bucks, and I say, well, fifty bucks. This sounds like a pretty good deal. And with the color screen, with you know, online uh, setup, and it has, you can do multiple pro remotes. So my current Logitech remote, I have the six fifty. The A80 and the one, which is the all color screen, that you have to set up one profile per remote. So this, with this, starting this series or maybe even before this, with this generation, you can have. You don't need a software anymore. You can set up online, and you don't need to have multiple profiles for different remote. You can have one profile, have whatever remote attached to it. Which is I don't understand why they don't do that from the get go. <clears throat> so this is the Costco packaging, and as you can see, this is a rechargeable remote, much like the A80 I have um, has a cradle. So let's get this open <clears throat> without hurting ourselves. I'm not the big fan of these kind of packaging. Did I cut myself? Nope. <clears throat> Cardboard is dangerous enough. Um, the battery is not uh, the Sanyo in the loop, uh, even though it looks like it, but it's Recycle. Um, Psycho. Okay. It's uh, 2050 milliamp, 1.2 volt, minimum 2000, so it's not in the loop. It's not the low self discharge. Um, I don't know why they don't use it. Um, and of course you get a USB power adapter um, and of course they ship it in a replaceable plug type so they can adapt this for different region, different country whatever and uh, it is a micro USB port so you can charge your remote like this. <clears throat> so um, first of all, the remote is in a very strange shape. Not saying it's good or bad, it's just very strange. So it is much thicker right here, I guess, for the battery. Because it's double A, so it has to be. But okay, then you have the tab right here so you can remove it by pulling. Uh, when these dies, I'll definitely switch them to the loop. And it boots up. And it's very thin. Um, it's almost thin as a pencil. It is very thin up front. So it is quite comfortable in your charge battery provided. Okay. So yes, and then go to logitech.com slash myharmony to set it up. I say please charge this. Yes, I will charge you. And you charge it by plugging to the charging port. So with all Logitech Harmony Remote, you have to set it up by adding your devices, then you add activities. And they are activities preset to use, and of course as a color screen, you can choose default activities. Um, there, um, so for this one, you can control up to eight devices, and there are a higher model that can control up to 15 devices. And this is the 700 uh, series, and then you have a uh, backlit display. Um, I generally like the Harmony series backlit display. They're pretty even, pretty bright, unlike some uh, TV remotes. That's really dim, very hard for you to see in dark. And I generally like them. And also for people who have to use a remote with control multiple devices, I turn on TV, turn on the receiver, switch input, turn on Blu-ray, adjust volume that you can just set up one activity called <clears throat> watch, watch a movie. 
that can turn on all those devices, but requires a significant setup that you have to know the device manufacturer, device model number, and the specific functions. So once it's set up, it's sort of significantly lower the <clears throat> the difficulty of turning on those devices in sequence and start them up and set them up and start using them. So it's great, but I guess that covers 90% or 80% of the use cases. But you know how the giant receivers, um, the giant remotes that you, you get with the receivers, that they have all the functions like different zone, different EQ setting, that sort of loss with it, at least my experience with the 880, the 650, and the Harmony 1, is that it's great at orchestrating turning on all your devices or turn them off, but the specific detail functions of a certain TV and receivers are certainly lost during that dumb down um, interface so to speak. Um, Another thing is that it, I guess not so much so now, but at least when it first came out, um, actually it's even some of the TV now that the remote remembers the state of individual devices, whether they're on or off. So for example, when you click on watch a movie, um, they might turn on the TV, turn on the Blu-ray player, turn on the receiver. <laughs> And then when you hit on play music, if you have it set it up that music listening does not involve the TV, when you switch from the movie activity to music, this thing will turn off your TV. Of course, you can set it not to do that. Or you switch vice versa, um, they will turn on the TV. And once you have a TV on, this thing will remember, say, okay, for this current activity, the TV should be on. And when you switch, it will turn it off. The prob Which sounds great. The problem comes is when that somehow the device wasn't turned off and that makes it the state of the device that's out of sync with this then you have to do okay turn off everything and of course the device that's out of sync gets turned on and you have to say and then you have to go manually turn the TV off or turn the device off so they're staying in sync again oh I did cut myself see that from that box that little See, this is a hazard of this job, of this hobby, unboxing, and I have a little paper cut. That's the thing, sometimes the device do get out of sync. Um, um, you do not get a full feature of a um, the receiver remote, which is a fine. TV's covered, because you can see you have a number pad, you have play buttons, pause, next, um, OK. So this is similar to the Microsoft Media Center uh, remote. So for those of you who use Microsoft Media Center, this helps a lot, or help those of you who use XPMC, uh, set it up as a MCE remote. This is um, primarily where you stay. Maybe you go right here. So, it's definitely a move to the right direction, but I have not seen any major innovation um, in the universal remote area that um, I hope someone fixes. But. Nevertheless, it's a very comfortable remote and it is very stylish and its color screen is pretty awesome. Um, it's not the most expensive or most high-tech remote you can get, but for 50 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. So um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Just ask them in the comment section and thumbs up if you like it. And um, <clears throat> thanks for watching.